So this is video number two um, for the lesson masters for the section on trig identities and the four theorems. So it says in numbers six through eight, let prime P equal A, B. So right there is my ordered pair A, B. And we're going to rotate it and state the value of the following. <clears throat> so again, we don't know if A and B are positive. That we don't know. We just know that it's A, B. I mean, technically A would have to be positive and B would have to be negative, but we're still just calling them A and B. The cosine, <coughs> excuse me, of 180 minus theta, remember that this means um, side to side, which means I'm going to be moving over to here. Well, when I move over to here, whatever A was, it becomes the opposite, and whatever B was, it stays the same. And cosine is the x-coordinate, so that would be opposite of A. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, tangent of the opposite of theta, again, this is my starting point. This means above and below, so I'm going to move up to here. A is going to stay the same because I'm still on the right side of my origin. Um, but my B goes from down below to up above, so it becomes the opposite. Doesn't mean it becomes negative, it just, this means B, this means opposite of B. Just like this means A and opposite of A. So the tangent up here in this quadrant is going to be sine over cosine, which is opposite of B divided by A. Okay, so we're going to do some more practice problems like this. It says, suppose that the cosine of theta is negative 5 thirteenths. Again, I always draw my circle. Where is cosine negative? Remember, cosine is an x-coordinate. Where are my x-coordinates negative? That would be on the left side of um, the circle. And then I look at this, and it says, in what quadrants, then, does theta lie? That would be quadrants 2 and 3. Find all possible values for theta. Okay, now, now they're asking for theta, not sine or cosine or tangent, just theta which means I would have to, since I know that the cosine of theta is negative 5 thirteenths, I would want to take the inverse cosine. And so theta equals inverse cosine of negative 5 thirteenths. Um, let's see, I guess I could do degrees. Since we're used to working in degrees, we can use degrees. So I'll go to my calculator. So inverse cosine of negative 5 thirteenths. And I get 112.6 degrees. All right, so I got 112.6 degrees. But remember, I've got... That would be right here, 112.6 degrees. I also need the answer that's in quadrant 3, because remember what quadrants does theta lie? Quadrants 2 and 3. So the 112.6 is my quadrant 2 answer. I need to figure out what my quadrant 3 answer would be. Well, let's see. I know that these two are supposed to add up to 360, so I can simply take 360 and subtract the 112.6 and I also get 247.4 degrees. So here are my two possible answers for theta. <clears throat> Next it says find all possible values for sine of theta. Alright, so I've got to think to myself, let me fill that 247.4 in there. I also have to think to myself about the sine of theta. In these two quadrants, sine is positive up here and negative down here. So my answer is going to be plus or minus. And now I'm going to use my Pythagorean identity theorem. Cosine squared plus sine squared equals <clears throat> 1. 
negative 5 thirteenths squared plus sine squared equals 1. So we get 25 over 169 plus sine squared equals 169 over 169. When I subtract the 25 over 169 from both sides, I get 144 over 169. Take the square root, sine of theta equals plus or minus 12 over 13. Let's go to number two. Cosine of theta is square root of 15 over 8. Well, got to draw my circle. Where is cosine positive? That's the x coordinate. X coordinates are positive on this side of the circle. And so I've got to think about the sine here. Sine, which is the y coordinate, is positive up here and negative down here. So my answer is going to be plus or minus. <clears throat> Tangent is positive up here and negative down here. So this is also going to be plus or minus. I just don't want to forget that. All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and find the sine of theta. So again, I'm going to do cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. Square root of 15 over 8 squared plus sine squared equals 1. Square root of 15 squared is just 15 over 64 plus sine squared, and that would be 64 over 64. I'm going to subtract the 15 64 from both sides. So I don't always show you that. I just tell you I'm going to subtract from both sides. So sine squared equals 49 over 64. Take the square root, and I get plus or minus, which I have right here, 7 over 8. Tangent, I remember, is always um, sine over cosine. So I'll do this in color. So tangent equals sine over cosine. I already know it's plus or minus. Sine is 7 eighths divided by the square root of 15 over 8. And so I'm going to um, multiply by the reciprocal. So it becomes 7 eighths times 8 over the square root of 15. So I end up with 7 over the square root of 15. But I can't leave that square root of 15 in the denominator. So I've got to multiply by the square root of 15 over the square root of 15, which leaves me with 7 square root of 15 over 15. All right, number 3. Sine of theta is negative 0.9848, and they tell me what quadrant it's in. So I know that I'm for this problem right here, I'm trying to find a place to draw that. I'm in this quadrant, pi to 3 pi over 2, I'm in the third quadrant. That's where I'm beginning. So I'm actually going to draw this circle for each of these problems. I'm going to draw it off to the side like this. I start in the third quadrant. This here means add 180, go halfway around the circle. So now I'm in this quadrant here. In the first quadrant, my sign is positive, so I'm going to put a plus, and the number stays the same. Okay, let's go to letter B. I'm always in this problem. I'm starting in this quadrant. Opposite of theta means above and below, so I move up to here. Sign up there is also positive. So 0.9848. All right, now for letter C, I'm going to have, I'm just going to use the circle that I drew here. Opposite of theta means above and below, and cosine here is negative. 
Now I do need to figure out the number part, so I'm going to have to do um, my Pythagorean identity theorem again. So I'll do my work right here, cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. I don't know what the cosine is. Sine is um, negative 0.9848 equals 1. So cosine squared theta, this becomes um, plus 0 0.9698314 equals 1. Subtract that from both sides and I get cosine squared equals 0 0.03016896. Then I take the square root, and I get 0.17369. And I know my answer is negative, so let's see where I can write that. I guess I'm going to have to write that right below. Negative 0.17369. All right, for my next one, tangent. So the tangent, here's my circle. Remember, I'm starting in the third quadrant. This um, notation means supplementary, which means side by side. So I'm moving to here. Tangent there is negative, so I'm going to want a negative answer. And tangent, remember, is sine over cosine. In red. So now we see tangent in red. I'll do it in red again. So the tangent is sine, which is 0.9848 divided by 0.17369 and when I divide that I get a negative 5.66987 all right number four sine of theta is 0 0.7431 there is sine, which is the y-coordinate, positive up here. So, for this first one, in every one of these, I'm starting at the top. Okay? This means move halfway around the circle. Diagonal, diagonal, which means now I'm in the bottom. Sine down here is always negative, so it's 0 0.7431 at a negative 0 0.7431. This notation here, okay, I don't, I'm going to use this circle that I drew right here. This notation means supplementary, so it's side by side. Here's to here, here's to here. Didn't change at all, it stays positive 0 0.7431. Last one, again, starting up top. Opposite means above and below. Here's to here, here's to here. Sine is negative there, negative 0 0.7431. And number five. Um, sine of, and this is, this is the picture for number five. Um, sine of pi minus theta. So theta, because they have theta here, this must be theta. So pi minus theta means move side to side. So I'm moving over to here, and sine is the y-coordinate, so it's b. All right, opposite of theta, again I'm starting here, opposite means above and below, so move down here. Tangent is sine over cosine, opposite of b over opposite of a, which is simply b over a. Okay. And then sine of pi plus theta. So since I'm starting here, and pi plus theta means go halfway across. Let me come here. And the sine is the y-coordinate, which is opposite 